Now let's move on to venous leakage because this is um, related to that. So first of all, what is venous leakage? So venous leakage is when you have, um, so you have valves in your veins here. And what can happen is they can become damaged, okay, like over here. And the way the valve should work is the blood flows and then gets trapped because it closes right here in the middle. See, closes together. That's how it should work. But if it gets compromised, then it's leaky. Okay, it, that's why I call it venous leakage. It, it, it allows this backflow of blood so it doesn't stay in the penis. I bring this up too because this, this is another great illustration of focusing on one thing. You know, when I first started doing this, you know, I don't know, four or five years ago, uh, I mean, actually working with clients, no one talked about venous leakage, right? But now I hear it all the time because it, it, it got popularized somewhere on the internet and it got picked up and guys are, once again, they're frantic. So they're trying to figure out how to fix their ED. So they come across this venous leakage thing and they're thinking, oh, that's it. That's it. And they self-diagnose themselves and it doesn't get any better. And they, they wonder why. Venous leakage, first of all, is pretty rare. Okay, it does happen, but it's actually pretty rare. And in order to figure out if you've actually got this, you've got to get it tested. You cannot self-diagnose. When they test you for venous leakage, they have to inject you with a very powerful set of chemicals like Trimix, which we'll talk about in a minute, so that you keep an erection, okay, so that they can do a Doppler and actually see if there's problems with your valves, okay? But the reason they got to do that is because um, performance anxiety will tank your erections, and they know that. So performance anxiety itself will seem like venous leakage, right? Because it'll just leak. Anytime you lose an erection, it's basically venous leakage. It's not going through this mechanism, but you're losing blood out of your uh, penis. Um, so that's why they got injected those chemicals because performance anxiety can tank it and it can look like it's venous leakage when it's not. Okay. And, um, that's not the only thing that can do it. Um, blood pressure. Let's talk about blood pressure. So because erections themselves are built on blood pressure. So when you get aroused, more blood is flowing into your penis than is flowing out. And as more of that blood flows in, it builds up more and more pressure, right? As the penis gets larger and larger, building up more and more pressure. And it gets to a certain point where um, there's so much pressure, it's around 400 millimeters of mercury, that it clamps down on your blood, your, uh, your veins, okay? Not through this mechanism, it actually clamps down on them and keeps the blood flow in there, okay? So what can happen is if you lose blood pressure, okay, you will lose that pressure in your penis and you'll start to lose the erection and it will seem like venous leakage, right? Same kind of thing because you're losing blood. But the, and that typically happens with guys on blood pressure medication because once again, when you take that blood pressure medication, it's affecting your entire body, including your penis. So it becomes more difficult for your body to maintain that 400 millimeters of mercury pressure in your penis in order to keep the erection because it's got a chemical floating around that, um, you know, brings blood pressure down. Okay, so it makes it more difficult to maintain the erection. Now, really important caveat here, you should not go off your blood pressure medication. Okay, it, it, Without, I mean, ideally you want to take care of this naturally. It's going to be much easier on your erections, but you've got to do that under the supervision of your doctor. I've seen too many, I've been a physical therapist for over 20 years. I've seen many strokes, many heart attacks. You don't want that. And that's what can happen. And that will definitely affect your sex life in a negative way. You do not want to mess around with blood pressure. So Yes, you want to get under control naturally, but under the supervision of your doctor who can help you wean off of the blood pressure medication so that it's safe and you don't end up having a heart attack or a stroke.
Really, really, really important. Um, and this shows here, hypertensive is high blood pressure. So you can see from these diagrams here, when there's not high blood pressure, okay, the walls of your blood vessels are thinner, which allows a lot more blood cells to come through. Okay, good blood flow. But when the blood pressure's up in your body, I'm not talking about in your penis, in your body in general, um, then it's a thicker wall and it makes it more difficult. Less blood cells can get through at a time, right? There's less blood flow. Okay, really important to understand that. Okay, um, I'm going to move on. Let me make sure I got what I wanted there. Okay, yeah, let's move on to this real quick, and that is pelvic floor tightness. I want to talk specifically about that. Hey, man, I hope you got a ton out of this segment of the BFAI Blood Flow Alpha Inhibitor video series, where we are diving deep into overcoming this insidious alpha inhibitor that is blocking our birthright of having natural, long-lasting, stage four rock-hard erections. If you'd like to get free access to the entire BFAI Blood Flow Alpha Inhibitor video series, make sure you click the link in the description of this video to register for free access to all of these life-changing videos in this series, along with some other surprise bonuses. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and turn on your notifications bell so you get all of the future value-packed videos just like this that I will be releasing for you to help you be the best version of yourself and have natural stage four rock solid performance. I will see you tomorrow in the next BFAI blood flow alpha inhibitor video.